Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy. Thanks for tuning in today, and as a reward for tuning in, you get to see something really cool. The first step in the truck build, which is going to be mounting the new tires on the new wheels, the new 17 inch wheels. Ooh, ooh. Okay, job one, before I get started, is I'm gonna remove the steel duck head that is on my tire machine now and replace it with this plastic one that's gonna be super nice to my new wheels and not scratch them. Well, you better not scratch them or you're in trouble, mister. It's not that difficult to do. It's these two Allen head screws. As an FYI to those of you that can hear that beeping in the background, that's the old guy truck driver that can't back up worth a beep. <laughs> Just saying. So if you hear that constant beeping, yeah, we're cursing his name. Anyway. Nice. No harm to new aluminum wheels. Sure, this one has these plastic pads that help protect things and is great for everyday use. But if you're doing expensive brand new wheels like what I got, well, if this whole thing is plastic, there's nothing going to gouge those wheels, hopefully. One of the first thing that's gonna be different uh, about when I do these, aside from changing the duck head, is instead of coming on the inside of the wheel to hold it, I'm gonna come on the outside of the wheel. I'll show you what I mean. So rather than having these things push out against the inside of the wheel, I'm gonna do just the opposite. I'm gonna have them come in, clamp the wheel like that. We need a tire valve. I'm gonna go for these short ones. I'm gonna remove the cores from these before I even get started, because this will make filling the tire easier for the first time and it'll seat and bead better. But I'm gonna remove all four caps and cores right now. It's like metal and rubber. Yeah, this one stick above the wheel or anything. I like it. Here's the first one. These are eight inch wide wheels, by the way. I have checked the fitment uh, with just the wheel and these are directional tires. So when we mount these, we've got to make sure we get the rotation correct because we got to get two going one way and two going the other way. These have a dot, yeah, okay. So the dot, we're going to try to line up with the uh, valve stem. That would be for optimum balancing. And I think we'll only be able to do that on one side because once we uh, mount the other set of tires the other way that they won't have a dot on the other side. These wheels will get a final cleaning before they're completely on the car. It's okay if they get a little scuffed up now. I'm not worried. <laughs> Some wide tires. <laughs> Dot. I'm going to try to get it close. Now we have to take it off of this thing before we start putting air in it because otherwise air won't go in. I do like how these look though. Oh god, that's hot. 
Okay, now these I need to mount two that are counterclockwise. That means I lose my dot that tells me where optimum balancing is. Where are you, Rotate? There you are. Ah, counterclockwise. So these gotta go on like this. I'm gonna set the final tire pressure when it's on the truck. I'm not gonna worry about it now. I'm just trying to put a reasonable amount in here at the moment. I'm actually kind of super disappointed that I don't see my new lug nuts in these boxes anywhere. I have to contact the company. Where's my lug nuts? Now that they're mounted, let's balance them. I need a bigger cone. How weird, I've never had to change it. Bless you, Brian. Thank you. <laughs> Brian has a cold. I really should have checked the date codes on these, shouldn't I? 2017, 45th week of 2017. So they're a couple years old. I guess not too old, but they're older. I can tell just by the sticker sometimes and how, I don't know, crusty it looks. I don't even know why I'm measuring. This should be eight inches. It's eight and a half, actually. And this 10 inch aluminum two. Yeah, we'll do that. Because I don't want to put weights on the outside. I'm going to do stick on ones on the inside here and hope that works out. And because I'm smart, I took the weights and put them in the bathroom where it's warm. I don't know if these are the right size weights for these wheels or not. Well, they went on there. I get in a lot of fights with my balancer, especially when it comes to stick on weights. It's just very touchy. So what I end up doing is I end up making a mark where it's supposed to go on the back of the tire. And then, you know, like when it's at 12 o'clock where I can easily find it. And then I rotate it around so I can install the weight. And hopefully that correct location, which is super hard to determine sometimes. But I think even after all that effort, I'll probably still have to do this 12 times and I hate it because I hate putting multiple weights on. Yep, never fails. <laughs> wasn't too terrible. Actually, I should shut up. That's the first tire. I would honestly prefer to use the Chevy centers instead of these American racing ones. I may harvest those from the old wheels. That's the finished look. Well, I'll have to peel that sticker off, but... This one was also 4517 as far as the date code. So 45th week of 2017 is when this tire was made. I'll link a video in the description describing how to look up tire dates. Please, 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 please. I have a love hate with this balancer. Like I love having it, but it's just every time I do aluminum wheels, we fight, we fight, we fight. Finally. 
Oh, yeah. No weights on the outside. Those wheels are pretty. That is ugly. And I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. And those of you out there that are saying, yeah, 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 do better, fine. Go ahead, do better. 4517. So we got one old one and the rest are 4517. So 144, one, the rest 45s. I'm always happy when that's over because I don't get along with my balancer. I just don't. And I might need to calibrate it something, but I dread using it each time. I'm glad I guessed right and got the rotation correct because if I hadn't, I'd have to like take that wheel off and those lug nuts being deep down inside like that are kind of difficult to get on and off. I like them. I like them a lot because they're just slightly bigger and slightly different, but they're kind of the same. So it's, it's exactly what I'm going for. I'm taking what's here and just tweaking it, tweaking it. Cool. I know these will be sitting for you know a couple of months while I do my other stuff, so I'm not I'm not doing what I would call a final clean and polish on these. Just enough to you know get rid of some of those marks I just made while mounting and balancing. Turning the steering wheel lock to lock and I'm staying in the parking lot. I'm trying to determine if there's any interference issues, any rubbing or anything. Here in the parking lot, it's slow speeds rather than getting out there and messing something up royal. I don't hear anything. It's doing pretty good. I think we're ready to take it out on the road. See how it does going over bumps? I love the feel of new tires. I can feel it's better already. All right, let's roll the stinking window up. It's cold. tracking better already. Feels awesome. I, I love new tires. You put new tires on something, it's like you just redid the whole thing. So I can call it done. Done. Dad's truck is done. He's ready for his trip. <laughs> no, not exactly. Uh, but I'm just going to take this back road for a little bit and then I'm going to drive it on the highway just to check to see if I have any vibrations around 55, uh, which would indicate a problem with tire balance, something of that nature. It seems to clear everything, which is great. Uh, so very happy about that. And now we just need to, uh, well, make sure that they're balanced and good. What about alignment with your tires? Well, we're not worried about alignment right now because we're about to jack up the entire suspension and lower it. And I mean, when I say jack up, I mean we're taking it all apart and putting it all back together. No point in worrying about an alignment until after we're done with all that stuff, which I have some stuff from quick trick alignment that I believe I'm gonna attempt the alignment on the truck myself to start with. And uh, we'll see, start doing my own alignments. But this thing is like solid on the road. It's just, and even in the cold, cause the Fairmont, those tires hate the cold. They hate the cold. These honestly aren't so bad. I don't know if they we're in the warm shop first or what, but I mean, this thing is planted. Like it's, it's very happy. I could feel it's very happy. In fact, I'm going 55 now which is where I would normally feel, well, according to the speedometer, which I don't think is correct uh, because of the transmission, but I don't feel any vibrations or anything as smooth as glass at this speed. I mean, I'll try it again out on the highway just to be sure, but everything I'm seeing now says it's awesome. It's fine. I don't hear anything that's giving me any indication that I got a tire balance problem with any of that. In fact, it feels very solid. 
And I haven't even started messing with the suspension yet. I tell you, tires are the number one thing you can do to improve your vehicle. 100%. Easiest way to make it better. Tires. Dad's truck has new wheels and tires and I could not be happier. I did mention at one point that I was going to do white letters on the outside of these. It is wicked cold right now and I don't think that's the best time to even attempt this besides I don't have the letters, but I will cover that at some point. Today I just wanted to check the fitment, put the wheels on and tires and I am so happy. And I may uh, try to harvest the Chevy emblems off the old wheels so I can install them here. Other than that, I'll put links in the description to all the parts and everything I've used so far and additional videos that could pertain to the stuff we talked about here today. Aside from that, if you have automotive questions, I ask that you head to ericthecarguy.com. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all those things that help me make a living. Really appreciate it. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I'll see you next time. Bye.